Tony Quant here from Wire TV alongside Bellator light heavyweight champion Liam McGeary. Liam, we're just off the back of Bellator 158, first show in London. How did you find it? It was great, man. It was it was a awesome show. Uh, everything from the fans to the fights, everything about it was 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 quality. And what stood out to you in particular? What moments stood out? There was obviously the huge knockout for MVP. Daly suffered a tough tough loss, but what what moments stood out for you? I, I think you pretty much nailed it. You know, yeah. I mean, the MVP that flying knee, Paul Daly and his unfortunate loss. Douglas Lima is a he's a he's a beast, you know. And uh, but Paul Daly, man, he's tough. He was very, very tough. He took everything he had and, and, and he still came on and did, his, and did what he needed to do, you know? Just unfortunately with the result. Um, Ollie Thompson, tough as hell, you know? All the English boys put on a good show. And as a Brit, obviously, how difficult was it watching it from the sidelines and not being involved in the first Bellator card in London? It's, it's gutting, you know? It's, 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 it's very gutting. Um, of course, I wanted to be in there. I saw the fans, everyone. Everyone was enjoying the show. But it was, it was nice to come home and actually see the fans and, and, and meet the fans as well, uh, doing the fan fest thing. Um, just in general, the, the things they've had me doing while I've been here has been, has been good fun, you know, and, and, and again, just, just meeting everyone, you know. I've been in America for four years and yeah. <laughs> that and, time we come home. And are you looking for, I mean, have you spoke to Bellator about possibly representing in the next show next time they come over here? And I mean, Phil Davis is next to you, but as, looking aside from that, who else are you looking to fight? Whoever, whoever needs to be fought, you know. I mean, we, we have to see who's coming up and who deserves the next title shot, you know. Um, all I've got is I've got Phil Davies in my head. I've had Phil Davies in my head for the whole year since I finished Tito, um, and, and, and that's all I want to concentrate on. You know, the, the next fight, I'm not looking past him. I'm, I'm, that's, that's who I have, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. And have you been able to catch up with any uh, British guys backstage to and get a, a sort of their perspective on how the crowd reaction and stuff? Uh, no, no. You know what? As a, as a fight, I kind of left the, leave the fighters to do their thing. I mean, I know what I'm like when I'm when I'm getting ready for a fight, you know. And uh, I kind of just want to, I don't, I want to concentrate and get in there, you know. So yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm, yo, I spoke to them all, they, they all loved it, you know. It's, it's you're fighting in England, they're fighting in the O2 arena, you know. So it's, I think we all want to fight in the O2. I know I want to fight in the O2 arena, you know. So yeah, it was it was definitely a good show. Okay, brilliant. Well, thanks for your time, Liam. All the best. Thanks,